Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So another summer haul for you today. So we've got a big mixture here. Just been in Aberdeen today. I did a big shop. Um, so I've got women's wear, kids wear, boys and girls. We've got Primark, Next, Quiz and H&M. So a huge haul for you. Um, lots and lots to show you. Got quite a few bits for myself. I think I still need a few more bits, um, which I've kind of started to order off the next. So we'll have a look, see what else I need. I think we're gonna have a big clear out tomorrow um, of all the clothes and try and get rid of all the stuff that's sitting there that just needs to get, just to go now. So yeah, really chuffed with everything I got. So I'll show you, it's a bit of a mixture. I'll tell you what everything is, sizes, how it was and prices. And uh, hope you like this vlog. So we'll just get started. I'll start with Primark because that's probably the biggest thing. Primark was so busy and there was lots and lots of things I saw. Um, I only got a few bits for myself in there, quite a lot for the kids. I really do like Primark stuff for kids because it's so cheap and especially at them, like, you know, their kids, they grow out with them fast. Especially just now though at an age where everything just gets wrecked messed up on, they're rolling about grass, they're running in the, on parks and everything so it's harder, you don't feel quite so guilty putting these on time and time again if it's just going to get messy, you know, it doesn't cost a lot so it's not going to get wrecked so quickly or if it does you don't mind. So I've got a few pairs of shoes, um, I got these ones for Olivia but she tried them on in the shop but they looked okay but it was pretty busy so I didn't notice but we got the 12 and they are too big. I mean, if we put them on the tightest one, they are fine. They won't slip off, but they're really loose here. So I think we'll see if we can put them back and maybe try and get the 11. But I do really like them. I think they're really, really cute. And they were, oh, 11 pounds. So we will see if we can get the size 11. Like a sort of plastic, orangey with this sort of glitter. I thought that was really pretty. Um, Olivia also got a pair of Crocs. She wanted to get a new pair of Crocs. Um, she's got old ones that are quite done, but to be fair, these were, hold on, she pulled the tag off, 350. So, I mean, you can't really complain. And she does wear a lot of Crocs between going swimming, gymnastics, um, and it'll be good in the summer if we're going down the beach and that. So yeah, they're pre pretty. She picked them herself, uh, picked sparkly ones. And again, they were a size 10. They are slightly big, but Crocs, Crocs uh, are better big anyway. She'll get the good out of them. And then James also got a pair of um, shoes. So these little flip flops, which I'd been uh, looking for. I'd actually bought them a pair from Home Bargains but they were the ones between the toes, like, you know, like it slips in between your big toe and the rest of them. And I just kind of, after I seen these, I thought they might just be a little bit uncomfortable for them. So um, I won't get that Home Bargains one, but they weren't very expensive. So I'll see if I can, somebody else wants them. But these are ideal Spider-Man ones. I think these are size 10 and they, they're ideal. Um, it's obviously like a slider, but with the strap at the back, so they'll hold on quite well. So they're going to be ideal for summer. Um, we're going on holiday soon, and um, even just going to the beach or just out walking if it's a nice day, but maybe just throwing something on. So yeah, tough for them. We were on the lookout for Crocs as well for James because he does really need a new pair, but we didn't see anything. There was in Home Bar um, Home Bargains. There was in Primark, but not a size, which is. Typical. Um, so that's that. Um, also got this hat for myself. Um, again, for the summer, for going on holiday, I thought it was really cute. So it's a pink, just a pink hat. Uh, and it was three fifty. I am um, no three pounds. I wanted. I do have a hat that I've been using. I've had since I was a kid, but it's more of a, like a like a really sort of loose material one and it just didn't seem to sit, it's got a bit of like hold there so it'll sit a bit better so I thought that was fine. So that, 
James wanted this t-shirt. I saw this and really liked it and thought it was really nice. Yellow, cute for the summer. Um, obviously he's into Mario just now, so he was really loving that. He couldn't wait to try it on. He kept saying, oh, where's my Mario? And I was like, it's in the bag, it's in the car, don't worry. <laughs> and that one was 3.50, so he is into size five to six and it fits perfect. He, I think, I thought he would have gotten three to four a bit longer, but he's really out of three to four. I think I'm gonna um, get rid of a lot of his three to four clothes tomorrow. Um, or certainly tops or anything like that because he's kind of out of them. Another t-shirt for James. I spotted this just randomly. I think he has the orange one of this last year, but it's just a really pale blue, just a really cute pale blue top. This one was age four to five, three pounds. And it'll just be nice. He's got quite a few like navy chino shorts. So it'll be quite nice just kind of dressed up rather than just like a plain t-shirt. Saw a lot of Spider-Man stuff in Primark and we spotted these shorts. There was like white ones, but I was like, white shorts with James? Absolutely not. <laughs> so we went for the red, because I thought that was really nice with the like pattern. Um, they did get that in the three to four, which they do fit, but I kind of slightly regret it. They'll do this summer. They were five pounds, so they will be fine for this summer. I also got him a hoodie just for being a bit warmer, as I say, still getting a bit cold, still a bit cold here, but even just for nights and that um, in the summer when it's a bit cooler, age five to six, which it might be a bit big, but it's the kind of thing he can get into even into the summer, um, into the winter with longer t-shirts um, when it gets a bit colder but it's all, it'll do them. It's, it's quite a nice quality and it's almost like fleecy inside. So it's just ideal, just a navy hoodie. And that one was four pounds. I mean, you really can't go wrong with that, can you? Um, I picked up some leggings for Olivia because she was really, really badly needing leggings. Like, Again, because we're up in Scotland, things are still a little bit cold. And even in the summer, there might be days where we will need trousers on. Olivia needed leggings. So I, I know it's pink and we're like, why, why buy in pink? But I just thought if there was a day that she just wanted to be comfy, but not really be outside playing. Um, I got these in the 67, because again, she's really tall. So she needs it for the length. And they're 180. I mean, if, they get wrecked, they get wrecked. Um, I will go, is that all of the kids stuff? Oh, I did also get a, a couple of pairs of leggings. Another couple of pairs of leggings for Olivia in the Navy. Again, 67, pound eighty each, and you just kind of go wrong. And these are obviously for going to the park and that. I thought they were a bit thinner. She didn't really have much leggings for like a coldish day going to the park. So on to myself. I did get a few things. There's lots of things I wanted to try, but obviously I've got the kids, so I didn't have too much um, time. But I did manage to try on a few things. I got these shorts, um, sort of like pink cotton, sort of lightweight shorts. Um, with a stripe down the side, which I thought were quite sort of sporty. Um, they I got that in the medium, so a bit like I I'm like a size ten, so that would be a small. But sometimes I find I need the bigger size, just not necessarily. F well, partly for comfort and partly because I just feel like sometimes the smalls just too small. It's like yeah, it fits, but it's not comfy and it's maybe a little bit tight. So I was like, these are for comfort, get the bigger size. So 12 to 14, size medium, and they were £3.50. You cannot go wrong. We are going on holiday um, in seven weeks, just over seven weeks. And it's gonna be more of a relaxed holiday. We're going to visit friends in the southwest of France. <clears throat> and um, I don't think it's gonna be like a all-inclusive holiday. You know, it's going to be a lot, like, she does have a pool in her garden. So it'll be a lot of, like, chilling by the pool, but, like, walking and things like that. So nothing too hectic. 
um, a lot of comfier clothes. Like I won't really need proper clothes for the evening. So I thought that they were ideal. Um, I got another pair of shorts as well, which I haven't tried on. I kind of picked these up after I'd been in the change rooms and I was like, I cannot be bothered to try them on. So they're high-waisted shorts. Again, I got them in the size 12, just because we'll see what like, hey, I might need to change them. They've got like ripped um, areas and then they're kind of like frayed at the back. We'll see how we go. Um, I thought they were quite cute, 13 pounds. Um, just like a pair of denim shorts. So that's that one's. Um, I also got these silver sandals, sort of like Birkenstocks, sort of same idea as them. Um, I had them last year in a sort of like nude pink, but they're done. <laughs> they're actually done. And I was like, Shona, go and just buy yourself another pair for all the cost is seven pounds. I think last year they were a bit cheaper, but obviously costs have gone up a little bit. So I kind of complain because I did wear them to death. They really are like done. And Olivia told me to pick these ones. So I said, which ones, Olivia? And she told me to pick these. So I was like, right, okay, we'll go with them. I thought they were quite cute. So that's that. Um, last but not least from Primark, I picked up this sort of shirt dress, sort of paisley pattern, I think it would be. I thought it was really, really nice. There was this in the blue as well. And again, I said to Olivia, which colour do you think? And she told me the green and I went, fine, let's go with the green. I did get, in, get it in the size 10, which after I was trying it on, I was like, oh, this is maybe not gonna fit. But actually it was perfect. It's not too tight, it's quite loose. It's the perfect sort of, it sort of goes down to, you can't see, but, it's sort of like a shirt dress that's sort of like tiered at the bottom. Um, so sort of like sticky out, really, really pretty. Um, I'm really happy with that actually. I think, I think if you've got a really nice day here, <clears throat> you could get away with that um, with some sandals. But obviously on holiday, it's gonna be ideal. Um, I mean, even just that and a pair of sandals to walk about with, a little bit of walking, or it could be dressed up with a really nice pair of sandals and a cute bag and even like a little jacket or something. Um, no, really chuffed with that. That was 14 pounds. So it's probably the most expensive thing out of everything I bought, but I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah. So moving on to, let's see, I'll go to H&M. Oh, I did get a couple of other things from Primark. I got a new brush. I needed a new brush. I said to Olivia before I left, I was like, Olivia, remind me in Primark to get a new brush. One pound, it's just a cushion brush. And I've had these types of brushes before, sort of like a little, um, I just think they're the ideal brush for brushing out your hair. Um, and it's a nice, it's just a black one. One pound, you just kind of um, but my other one was done. So yes, happy with that. Um, also picked up a little bit of makeup. I needed like a new foundation powder. You can just see in there because it's like a mirror. I got that in the sand because I did have, I do have another one, but it's slightly too orangey, I think. So I was like, right, when I'm in there, I'll pick up a another one. And I also picked up these sunglasses. There was quite a good range, quite some funky ones. But I went for these, which were £2.50. Um, and I will show you them. I thought they were quite cute. Olivia said they looked okay. So I was like, well, if Olivia's saying okay, we're okay. Um, she's quite into her fashion at the moment. So yeah, chuffed for them. They will do for the summer. I don't really like getting expensive sunglasses because I tend to just break. <clears throat> so... From H&M, I also got, <coughs> I've had a, <coughs> from H&M, I also picked up this dress for Olivia. I've had a few H&M dresses before and they're really good quality and they keep really well and wash really well. Um, and I've had a similar one to this last year. So this is 
sort of like a butterfly um, vest dress. Um, sort of like blues and like pinks. Really, really cute. Um, $3.99 for a dress. You just kind of go wrong with that. And it's... I think I should get two years out of it. The last time I got them, I bought them long and even like she got them like the year after and if they look a bit short, you could always put like a cropped trouser underneath them. So no, I really, really like H&M dresses and I got that in eight to 10 years because she needs it. She really, really needs it. Um, right, there's another H&M dress here, which Thought was really cute. In fact, she like really liked this one as well. So same idea, sort of like a vest top dress with purple, blue, and pink hearts. Um, again, eight to ten years old, and again three ninety nine. So just ideal for the summer to shove on because she still really does like her dresses. Like she gets, she likes shorts and t-shirt, but she still really likes her dresses. So had to get some of them. So, moving on to quiz, I got one thing from quiz, which, like, I went to the shop and I felt like about 80. <laughs> there was loads of young people in there and the clothes looked really nice. Like, I still, I bought quiz stuff when I was little, that was quite big. Um, but I went in there because I saw, I bought, you remember the cargo trousers that I showed from Next? I ended up putting them back because I wanted something just smaller on the leg, not quite so ballooned, because I felt like it just made my legs look huge. So I thought, I bet you anything, quiz, I'll do something. And lo and behold, I picked up a pair of cargo trousers. So it's like a sort of khaki pale green. Um, really, really nice, cuffed at the bottom, at the ankle, and there is a pocket on each side, and then you've got the tires, pockets, and it's really loose fitting and comfy, but it's not balloon. I tried on the size 10, which fit, had no problem. The only issue is my tummy area. When, because I've got a bit of a mum tum from having kids, um, which just will not go away, I think, unless I got this removed, <laughs> literally. Um, sometimes, I like to try and go a bit bigger so it's not quite so obvious. So although the 10 fitted absolutely fine, if you had a flat tummy, you would get away with the 10 basically. But I went for the 12, I tried it on because I thought I'll see what like, and it was there was no major difference to be honest with you. They still had a nice tight, they were still loose fitted, but still kind of not ballooned, if you know what I mean, in my legs, which is sometimes what you've got to worry about because you need you go for the bigger size, but then the legs are like massive. But no, absolutely fine and very comfy. I think will be ideal for the summer with a pair of um, pair of trainers and like a t-shirt, like a white t-shirt. I don't know why, but that's just what I imagine with these. And I think they'll just be really comfy. A complete change from jeans or leggings. But yeah, bringing it back to the 90s, eh? Don't, I don't even know if I did have a pair of them, but it was definitely bringing my back. Right, we're on to next, last one. Just a few bits to go. I thought I'd just do it all in one. So I bought these shorts for me, just like a linen, linen um, type of material. Um, navy, thought that would be nice in the summer with trainers again because we're going on holiday something a bit loose fitting and comfy don't want to be um worrying too much about dressing up because we're not really going out we're just going to be spending a lot of time with our friends and playing and enjoying the sun and it's really like the french countryside so there's not going to be much time for going out or that so yeah got these shorts Really, really, I haven't actually tried them on yet because I didn't try on next stuff, so I thought oh, we'll be back. So yeah, got them. I got them in the size 10. They look okay. They don't look too bad. They look, they look elasticated. Um, size 10, they were 18 pounds. And as I say, linen sort of like shorts, which I was really needing some new shorts. 
uh, picked up this white polo shirt for James. I think he's had this before a few times. Um, sort of like standard white polo tee for Jamesy. Um, I got that in the four to five, which I cannot believe. I cannot believe he's into that size already. He really has seen a big stretch. I don't know if you've followed us for a while, but James is like really tall. Um, he's only gonna be four in August. So as you can tell, he's like in four to five. He's just, he's not far. He's about 10 centimeters shorter than Olivia. So I think at some point he will overtake her. Um, for Olivia, we got this beautiful pink dress. So it's like a t-shirt, sort of bit of, sort of t-shirt material at the top, and it's got the broad on glaze sort of patterned frilly sleeves with the sort of lacy bit. Um and it's got a little butterfly there, if you can see. And then obviously this really um layered skirt with all the beautiful flowers, pinks and yellows and blues and purples and I just thought it was really really pretty. There was a couple of options, there was a cream one and I think there was another one as well but I thought this was really nice. I got this in eight, uh, size 8 which she needs 100% and it was £20 so really really like that. Also for Olivia she needed like a hoodie, she's got a couple of jumpers but the like a hoodie like this that she can kind of just throw on if it's a bit cooler. It's the same sort of idea as James. Um, there was a couple options but I could only get this one in her size and it's sort of like lilac with all the different sort of colours with a hood and a zip and I got that in a size 7 and it fits fine. And I don't know how much it is because the price is not on it. It does not say. But I would imagine 10, 15 pounds, something like that. And absolutely last, but no, by no means least, uh, I got a jacket for James. So again, he had a lot of jackets and now he's getting too big um, for them. So I wanted something, he's got like a, a nursery one that's basically lasted him the whole year. He got it for starting nursery. And I thought, oh, maybe just go and get him. And one that'll last even like into the winter, like like the autumn when it's a bit cooler or rainy and also maybe even in the winter. If you're just kind of sometimes if you're just going, like it's not freezing cold, but you're going into the car, um, you need a jacket so you can get away with this. So I just, there was a few different colours and sort of styles. Um, there was like a lighter blue one, but I thought this was really nice. It's sort of like dusky blue, I suppose you could say. I don't know, but um, it's obviously got the little car design, kind of going for a Lyle and Scott uh, dupe, I suppose you could say, but it's water resistant, shower resistant, and it was £28, and I got this into in the 5 to 6, which probably seems big, but I did try it on, and I just thought it wasn't, like, huge, and it, as I say, I, if you're going to spend a bit of money on a jacket, you kind of want it to last long. So, as I say, you'll get that into at least next year probably anyway, and maybe even just the start of the spring, summer next year. Um, and you can't really beat next jackets. I got Olivia's one, you might have saw it in my next haul. I got her a raincoat as well from next, and she's had a few things. It is lined, so we've got grey, mustard, and a sort of navy lining, you, and yeah. Overall, really happy with that. I really like it. It looks looks nice. It'll be a good sort of like nice jacket for going out and about. So yeah, that is my summer haul. As I say, tomorrow I'm having a big clear out. I need to get like stuff sold and moved on and tidy up their cupboards and that, my own. And I think, I think we're just about there with summer clothes really. Um, I've been really lucky to get like hand-me-downs, so Olivia and James both got quite a lot of hand -me summer hand-me-downs, so we don't need a huge amount. I just need to check their swimwear, um, and that'll be us. Good to go. Maybe a few more bits myself, but honestly, really don't need a huge amount this um, for this holiday. A lot of shorts and t-shirts and comfy clothes, so 
nothing too stressful so but yeah looking forward to getting some sun so i hope you've liked this um huge haul give it a thumbs up if you did and if you are new please hit the subscribe button